This video is meant to show you some of the options on the Lightorama Sequence Editor's new Musical Sequence Options dialog. Not all of the options, there are other videos that will show you other options on the dialog. This uh, video in particular will show you the options that are related to timings. For example, how many timings will be in the new sequence and where those new timings will be. So let's click on the New button, select New Musical Sequence and click OK. Select the song file that we want to use for this sequence, and here's the New Musical Sequence Options dialog. Now the section of options that we want to deal with in this particular video is this section here, Initial Timing. There are basically two parts to this. Over here on the left we see Use Wizards, and over here we see Use Equally Spaced Timings. Let's start off with the Use Equally Spaced Timings. Uh, this is asking you how far apart the timing should be. For example, right now selected is a tenth of a second. So let's take that and see what it means. So the new sequence is created, and now each of these vertical gray lines in the sequence is a timing mark, and each of them is a tenth of a second apart. And you can see that by looking at the time scale up here. For example, here's the one second mark, here's the two second mark, here's the three second mark, and if you count up these boxes in between timings, you'll see that there are ten of them up to the one second mark, ten more up to the two second mark, and so forth. So each of them is indeed a tenth of a second apart, just like we specified. And it's not just on this first screen, but you can scroll through the whole sequence, and there are timings all the way through the sequence, a tenth of a second apart apiece. Now, the basic purpose of timings is to uh, use effect tools. And so, for example, let's try this fade up. By selecting the fade up tool and clicking on one of these cells, that cell becomes a fade up. And because this cell is a tenth of a second long, the, cell, the effect is a tenth of a second long. It will fade up over the course of a tenth of a second. Or you can click and drag a bunch of cells, and now the fade up will take, take, the, uh, take place over the course of this entire uh, time span, which is, I don't know, maybe a second or so. So now let's go back to the new musical sequence options dialog. And just like we selected a tenth of a second, we could select any of these other options, for example, a half a second. Now the timings are half a second apart each, so we can quickly uh, create a half second effect. And this is really a topic for another video, but just to briefly show you, you can actually have more than one timing grid in a sequence. So for example, I can click on this timing button and add new fixed grid and say a tenth of a second. And now I have this grid, which has, sequence, uh, which has timings that are half a second apart, and another grid, which are a tenth of a second apart. And I can make a tenth of a second event quickly, and then I can switch to here and make a half a second event quickly. And you can have as many of these timing grids in the sequence as you want. Again, that's a topic for another video for the details of it. So now let's go back to the new musical sequence options dialog again. You could also select a second, you could imagine what that'll do, or some other value that'll allow you to put in any value that you want here. For example, if you want them to be, let's say, a twentieth of a second apart, you can put in 0 0.05 and click on OK. And now the timings are even closer together because there are 20 of them per second. Now, uh, one thing about what we've done so far is that we've created what are called fixed timing grids. In other words, these timings are fixed in place. They cannot be moved. They cannot be deleted. They cannot be added to. You can, of course, add a new timing grid like we did before. But with this timing grid, these timings that you see are the ones that will always be in it, and they'll always be exactly there. So we could uh, create a timing grid in another manner, which is called a freeform grid rather than a fixed grid. And we can do that through the new musical sequence dialog as well. So let's go back to it again. And say a tenth of a second again, that's fine. 
but now notice down here, use a fixed timing grid. This has been checked the whole time, so we have been using fixed timing grids. If we uncheck it and click OK, it creates a grid that's a tenth of a second apart a piece, but now we can move these timings. We can also uh, delete timings from here. We can also add timings to here. Again, that's a topic for another video, but I just wanted to show it to you uh, as it relates to the new musical sequence options dialog. So now let's go back to that again. And like we said before, there are pretty much two sections to the dialog, or to the timings portion of the dialog. The equally spaced timing grids uh, part that we've basically covered now. And this section over here is the uh, wizards section. And in addition to the wizards, we'll worry about them in a minute, but in addition to the wizards, there's this don't add any timings. And that does <laughs> just what it sounds like. It creates a sequence that has no timings in it. You can, of course, add timings to it. Um, and you can, there are many different ways to do that. But to begin with, if you select don't add any new, do, don't add any timings, then your new sequence will have no timings in it initially. So now let's go back to the new musical sequence dialog and look at the wizards. Here are the wizards. There are four possible wizards. The MIDI wizard, tapper wizard, beat wizard, and VU wizard. Now each of these is a complicated thing and really a uh, subject for another video or potentially several videos for some of them. But I just want to give you a quick view of them just to show you that you can get to them through the new musical sequence options dialog. So first thing you'll notice is that use the MIDI wizard is grayed out. You can't select it. And the reason for that is because I have selected an MP3 sequence, and the MIDI wizard is only available for MIDI files, not MP3 files. So the first one we can use in this case is the Tapper Wizard. So let's check that out. The idea behind the Tapper Wizard is you play the song and tap along with it on your uh, keyboard or your mouse. And where you tap, uh, timings will be made. So now the song starts, I'll tap along with it, just more or less randomly for now, but you can do it in time with the song. Apply an exit, and you'll see that uh, taps caused timings to be created. Now let's go to the beat wizard. The idea behind the beat wizard is that Lightorama will try to detect the tempo of the song and create beats based upon it. So, again, it's a complicated thing. There are lots of options to it, but let's just take the defaults for now, apply an exit, and it has created these timings, and hopefully those timings are based upon the beat of the song. Now let's try out the VU wizard. The idea behind the VU wizard is that you can use it to make your lights behave uh, kind of like a VU meter does on your stereo system. So, in other words, when the... Uh, the volume gets loud, it, more lights go on, and when it gets soft, less lights go on. And there are lots of different options on it, but let's just uh, deal with them in another video. For now, just apply an exit, and you'll see it creates a bunch of timings. Now, the final wizard available from the new musical sequence options dialog is the MIDI wizard. And for that, like we said before, we can't use an MP3. It only is usable for MIDI files. So let's select a MIDI file. And uh, the MIDI wizard has a whole bunch of options. And uh, here we go, use the MIDI wizard. Uh, you can do things on the MIDI wizard, for example, like make chase sequences or rotating tree effects, or you can turn channels on and off based upon the note that is being played by a particular instrument. So the MIDI wizard's got a lot of uh, a lot of features. It's only usable for MIDI files, though. So I think that's about it for the timings section of the new musical sequence options dialog. I hope this helps.